Hi all, today's topic is method of variation of parameter. So this is uh, one of the big question. So it is nothing but the general equation d squared y by dx squared plus a1 into dy by dx plus a2 into y equal to right hand side the fully is nothing but capital F of x. So we have in this method in wind complementary function and particular integral. So direct formulas are there only we need to substitute it. Complementary function is nothing but a into f1 plus b into f2. f1 and f2 only we have to calculate it. So particular integral p capital P into f1 plus q into f2 where capital P is nothing but minus of integration f2 divided by f1 into f2 dash minus f1 dash into f2 into right hand side that is nothing but capital F of x into dx. Same way q is nothing but here we don't have minus symbol only plus. So integral f1 divided by the same denominator into f of x dx. So this formula only we are going to use this four set of formulas for solving the method of variation of parameter. The question will be given for a method of variation of parameter. In this y we go with the method of variation of parameter which cannot be solved for example type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, type 5, type 6. Other than this which can be solved, it can be solved by a method of variation of parameter. For example tan, tan x or tan ax or secant ax or cosecant ax or any combination cosec plus sec, sec plus tan. So some exponential function into tan all that okay except your sine cos function normal simple all other from a six types so other it can be solved by a method of variation of parameter so the first problem so only we are going to calculate first a complementary function and compare with this general okay and find out here f1 and f2 etc we need to calculate and substitute in this for example, first problem. So it's nothing but uh, first complementary function means so first we need to write the axillary equation m squared plus a squared equal to zero. M is nothing but uh, plus or minus a i. So the complementary function. So it's nothing but uh, alpha zero, beta is nothing but uh, a. Okay. So when I write the complementary function a cos ax plus capital B sin ax. Okay. Now compare this complementary function and the given method of variation of parameter the complementary function. Both we need to compare it and write f1 and f2. Okay. f1 is nothing but you compare it. a a it's uh, common. Okay, so in this when I compare it, check in this only a a. So f1 will be cos ax, f2 is nothing but sin ax. That you need to take and write it. f1 is nothing but cos ax f2. sin x okay after that we need to write a particular integral before finding a particular integral so f1 dash f2 dash we need for capital p and q that i first i will calculate it's nothing but f1 dash is nothing but differentiation of cos ax is nothing but cos ax is nothing but minus sin ax into a same way f2 dash sin ax is nothing but cos ax into a. So completed. Your right hand side capital F of x is nothing but tan ax. So everything we have calculated only we are going to substitute now. Capital P and Q I am going to calculate. First step you have to write the formula. So minus integral over f2 divided by f1 f2 dash minus f2 f1 dash capital f of x dx this formula first to write and substitute all the data so f2 we know it's sin ax so sin ax divided by 
denominator f1 is nothing but cos ax cos ax f2 dash is cos ax into a so cos squared x into a minus f2 sin ax f1 dash is minus sin ax minus minus plus so sin squared ax into a into capital f of x is tan ax dx okay cos ax plus sin ax is nothing but 1 so cos x plus sin x is 1 no so a only will be there in the denominator so i'll write it in the next step so it's nothing but minus integral sin ax divided by a only in the denominator because cos square ax plus sin square ax equal to 1. Okay. So tan ax I can write it as sin ax by cos ax. Okay. Sin ax by cos ax into dx. Okay. So now sin squared numerator it's a sin into sin sin squared. So minus 1 by a outside. Sin squared ax divided by cos ax into dx. So sin squared x we know it's nothing but simple simple formula we have to know it's nothing but 1 minus cos squared ax. Then only I can cancel. When I write it this format I can cancel it. So minus 1 by a 1 minus cos square ax divided by cos ax into dx. Split into two terms now. When I split capital P equal to minus 1 by a. Okay. Now when I split integral 1 by cos ax dx one term minus cos ax cos ax one time cancel cos ax only one time split into two terms. 1 by cos is nothing but secant ax. 1 by cos, all the formula I am writing right hand side. 1 by cos is nothing but secant ax. Okay. Now you should know what is the secant ax formula. So it is nothing but 1 by a log of secant ax plus tan ax. Okay, so it is nothing but minus 1 by a. So 1 by cos is nothing but secant. Secant uh, I know the definition is nothing but 1 by a log of secant ax plus tan ax minus cos ax is nothing but sin ax. Sin ax by a. So, you can 1 by a you can take it outside and you can dry, leave it as it is. This is P. Same way I need to calculate Q. Q, write the formula integral F1 divided by same denominator term F1 into F2 dash minus F2 into F1 dash into capital F of X dx. F1 we know that. So, f1 is nothing but cos, f1 is uh, cos ax, cos ax, denominator only a, because by previous, okay. So, capital A of x is nothing but tan ax dx. So, tan is nothing but sin by cos. So cos cos get cancelled. So 1 by a outside. Integral of sin ax is nothing but cos ax. 1 by a as it is. Sin ax integration is cos minus cos ax divided by a. So q I got. So now substitute in the particular integral. Particular integral general what is the formula? P into f1. 
plus q into f2 already all four datas we have calculated only we need to substitute so capital p is nothing but 1 by a you take outside and you write minus 1 by a squared into log of secant ax plus tan ax minus sin ax s1 by a taken outside into f1 f1 is nothing but cos ax okay plus q q is nothing but uh, this answer so minus symbol so i'll change it minus 1 by a squared into cos ax now f2 f2 is nothing but sin ax sin ax we check whether any term get cancelled. Yes, check it. This term and this term get cancelled. Only this term will be there. Okay, so particular integral will be already particular integral minus 1 by a squared log of secant ax plus tan ax. Only particular integral. Already complementary function we have calculated. Both you have to combine and write. Don't forget. Y is nothing but complementary function what we have written. So complementary function is nothing but A into cos AX plus B into sin AX plus particular integral minus 1 by A squared log of secant AX plus tan AX. So completed. This is the particular integral. I'll do one more problem, the second question, so that uh, can I understand the concept. Is me. So second question. Same method of variation of uh, parameter. So, solve. d squared by dx squared plus y into cosec x by Method of variation of parameter. Same concept. So now we have to find the complementary function. So now complementary function is nothing but d squared. When I write the short form d squared plus 1 into y equal to cos x. Okay. So m squared plus 1 equal to 0. So m equal to plus or minus i. So when I write the complementary function, so complementary function will be a cos x plus b sin x. What is our f? f1 cos x f2 sin x okay so f1 dash cos x uh, differentiation so it's nothing but cos x differentiation is nothing but minus sin x f2 dash sin x differentiation is cos x i will calculate the denominator term separate itself so that it will be easy for my Calculation f1 into f2 dash minus f2 into f1 dash. So when I calculate f1 is cos x, f2 dash is nothing but cos x minus sin x into again minus sin x. So cos squared x plus sin squared x. So it's nothing but 1. Denominator I'm getting 1. Okay. So complementary function finish. Next step, write the P formula. Every time you have to write the formula, F2 divided by 
by denominator I will write short form capital F of x into dx capital F of x is nothing but cosecant s so now when I solve it minus integral f2 is sin x divided by 1 into capital F of x is cosecant x dx Okay, cosecant x dx. Cosecant x is nothing but 1 by sin. Cosecant is nothing but cosecant x is nothing but 1 by sin is cosecant x. So it get cancelled. So minus sin x cosecant x is nothing but sin x it get cancelled. So only integration of dx is nothing but x. So minus x is the p. Q same way when I calculate it. Integral f1 divided by denominator into capital F of x dx. Okay. So now when I calculate it, denominator is 1 only. Q, so f1 is nothing but cos x into denominator 1 cosecant x dx. Cosecant x, uh, we can write sine. So it's nothing but cos x divided by sin x okay cos x by sin x is nothing but what it is so tan x correct cos x by sin x it's cot x sin by cos only tan sin x by cos x is nothing but tan x so now tan cot x integration is nothing but log of sin x. Remember cot x differentiation is log of sin x. Integral of tan x is nothing but log of cos x. So now it is nothing but log of sin x. Q is nothing but log of sin x. Now already P and Q we know. Particular integral is nothing but we have to write the formula. P into F1 plus Q into F2. Substitute. Capital P is minus X into F1. F1 is nothing but sin X plus Q. Q is nothing but log of sin X into F2 is nothing but cos X. So completed. Particular integral component already complementary function completed. So y is nothing but a into cos x plus b into sin x plus particular integral. As it is, you have to write the particular integral. So we have completed. Last, we have to write the complementary function answer and particular integral answer. Solution will be the y. Thank you.